And we're back. Let's take this elevator to the top floor. Oh. That's how you get back down. <laughs> Whoopsie. We need to take a different path. Alright. Gong heads as far as the eye can see. Let's do something about that, shall we? A rock blast and a burn. That barely did a thing. Hopefully eruption will do a lot. That didn't help much either. Oh dear. That's a problem. Running speed! It hurts. It hurts so much. Alright, let's uh, our AoEs obviously aren't going to work, so let's take them out one by one. Oh well. The nonsense language they use for spellcasting is always something I kind of appreciate about the Fire series, honestly. Ah! That's crazy ability! He's cu he has cover! I forgot about that. Uh, please don't die. <laughs> nice crit. A little overkill, but nice. Kill it! Make it dead. I suppose I should start using some of those healing herbs, huh? No, hold on. Oh, that is the way I was supposed to go. I guess I am supposed to take the elevator somewhere. I could have sworn we were already at the third floor or higher. Oh well, more encounters! Alright, uh, let's kill the thief first, and then we'll have everyone else guard. I think we might be able to learn something from the gong head. Not Ram, apparently. Or at least, not this time. Let's give it a few more tries. English, my no, Ershin! <laughs> Wrong! Wrong thing to do, Ershin! Nope, not learning Ram. And that's all it wants to do, so... Kill it! Smacky specky! Uh, right, heal up. Yeah, we have a lot of healing herbs. Should probably start using them. Let's try going to the third floor. Yeah, all these elevators go down, not up. Let's take it to each, just to double check. In case there's a floor that we couldn't get to through the elevator before or something. Nope, looks like every other floor we've been to. <laughs> and he counterattacked it to death. He also learned slow. So I think that's really interesting that one of our obviously physical based characters is also one of our best support ability characters. It's pretty interesting. I like it. They, they give characters multiple roles in this game, and I really like that. Yep, all the way back down. Doesn't help us in the least. Let's go back to the fourth floor and see if we can't find a way around. Maybe I missed a door or something, which is entirely possible, given the layout of this damn place. And the camera angles in this game.
There we go. Let's move the camera around a bit. And that's the way back down. Huh. I forget where to go. Wrong button, Haven. This is going to be a problem. go. A couple of sievers took care of it. Oh, right. There's a door right here. Frickin' camera angles. Elevator up, please. Oh. So, this must be the gateway, huh? The lift! Oh boy! Well, this looks like a one-way trip. What the? It looks like it's been activated. Well, what are we waiting for then? I guess we're supposed to jump in there. Come on. Oopsies. This way. Charge! That's far enough. Alright then. It's you again. And just who taught you people your manners, hmm? Who do you think you are? This belongs to the Empire. Do you think you could just walk right up and use it without asking, hmm? That was the plan. We don't want any trouble. I don't suppose you'd be willing to let us go, would you? I'm afraid not. I owe that runt there for what he did to me. That hurt, you know. Alright, if that's the way you want it, then. You must be pretty brave coming after us by yourself. Brave or stupid. Sticks and stones, sticks and stones. I came alone for a reason. Besides, I don't need any help to deal with the likes of you. By the power granted me, I command me. Yimachov, warrior spirit, thou art summoned. There's literally a portal right behind us. We could just leave. That's not a thing we're going to do, is it? Meditate, aura, and let's see if we can slow it down. As you might notice, unlike the first game, or not the first game, the previous game, the AP used with Dragon Forms actually scales as you gain levels. So yeah. Esso, hey! Good to see you. 
And yeah, that dude did have a great smile, didn't he? It's Whirlwind! Oh no! Oh right, ow! I forgot, that attack hurts. Oh shit. Um, heal, heal, heal! Flame strike, because you'll hit twice. And I just go for the attack. Oh dear, don't heal him with every attack. Okay, good. Okay, so he doesn't care about fire much. He's off balance. Oh, that's right! You're supposed to set him off balance and then hit him in the back. Which means... We don't want to swap things around. Airshin attack. You attack, and then... That'll probably put it back on balance. So I can heal... You. Not switch for a bit thanks to real life issues, because you too. It, whatever you gotta do. That didn't knock him off balance. Shit. I think a magic attack is necessary to knock him off balance. Okay, we know that now. Oh dear. Whatever issues you gotta take care of, or issues you gotta take care of, everything. Twitch is kinda low on priorities in that kind of situation. Alright, Siva. Attack. And then. I wonder what happens if we put him off balance for next turn. Nope, didn't put him off balance. Did I just get lucky or is it fire that does it? It seems to be fire specifically that does it. Luckily, I have a fire spell on Nina. No, I don't. Shit! The fire spell's on Ryu. Damn it. Alright, well. Qua spell. Then we'll have Cray attack. And we'll have Nina attack just for sake of dealing damage. That didn't do it either! How do I force you to get knocked off balance? I mean, there's obviously one attack that I've used that's done it, so obviously I'm using it next. But if it works, I'm confused about why that one attack is what seems to do it. Flame strike. Nope, that didn't knock him off balance this time. Huh. Now I'm just confused. Oh well, flame strike some more. It worked once, maybe it'll work eventually. We're still dealing damage, I mean less than I'd like, but damage is still damage. Covering fire! Good job, Airshin. Alright, I may actually have to heal him in dragon form. Amazing. Oh! Right! Can't heal a dragon. I forgot that was a thing in this game. Alright, Nina's pretty much out of AP, so... I'll have Ryu attack. Then we'll have Airshin attack, and we'll have Kray attack. Uh oh! Almost kicked me out of dragon form. Alright, I'll have you heal. Airshin up. What's better, Beth of Fire 3 or 4? Honestly, that's a matter of personal opinion. I actually like... If you like humor in your story more, I think Breath of Fire 3 is a better story in that sense. Yep, that's out of... me out of dragon form. 
if you like humor, more humor in your story, I think Breath of Fire 3 is a better uh, story then. Uh, I like 4's battle mechanics better, though. I like 3's dragon mechanics better. It's really, really a hard choice. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you're talking about a difference that's so small that if you can find the time to play both, you should. <laughs> I played three already, excellent story, how about four? Four is a more serious story, but it's definitely still a good story. It's it, it really comes together in a very interesting way. that like a turn earlier. Alright, I'm gonna need to use an ammonia, which means I'm gonna need you to use it probably. Ammonia! Wakey wakey please. Um, I'm gonna have you heal yourself. Healing herb. And yeah, when someone dies they get kicked to the back row, so they don't actually take up a turn. It's pretty interesting. This, the way the battle mechanics in 4 work is very cool. Sorry. Uh, no, Sniper Ghost. The, uh, none of the Breath of Fire games are directly connected. So, that includes 3 and 4. Though. So if you want to play 3 and 4 in whatever order you want, it doesn't matter. There are some consistencies and some references, but they're not necessary to know. Heal up Cray so he can come up and join the fight. Then have him join the fight! <laughs> no problem, Sniper Ghost! The Breath of Fire series is, is one of those series that I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with it in the sense that I love 3 and 4, and I really dislike 1 and 2, <laughs> so... I, I just love getting people into the, the parts of it I really like. Yeah, it, it, Breath of Fire treats, it treats the sequels much like the Final Fantasy series does. They're connected in themes and stuff like that, but not in any, any story connection kind of thing. Until Final Fantasy started making, like, direct sequels to their games, and then kept making sequels to most of the games that sucked, as opposed to the ones that were amazing. Make a direct sequel to Final Fantasy VI, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Any plans on play 5 on PS2 emulator? Um, that is one of the reasons why I'm playing Breath of Fire 4 now. I wanted to play 3 for my Let's Play on YouTube that moved to Twitch. Then I want to play this, and then once this is over, Breath of Fire 5 is going to be on the votes for my one Monday, Wednesday, Friday stream, because that would be a blind playthrough. I have not played it, I've heard bad things, but I'm willing to give it a shot. But I didn't want to put 5 on that list of uh, blind games to play through until I beat 4. Which is what I'm doing now. Man, that enemy had way more health than it needed to. Way more defense. You were supposed to turn it around and hit the thing on its back, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. I used every attack I thought I had. So, whatever. Yimichev, but... but how? Look! Oh god, it's shrinking, isn't it? The gate, it's... closing? Move! Go, go, go! Man, you guys run slow. What is this, an episode of Baywatch? Move your ass! But 
dragon? But that's not possible. I did sort of turn into a dragon during my fight with the Yama Shaft and I. They're kind of assuming you did, honestly. They're assuming you turned into a dragon to beat Yamachaf. Because otherwise he wouldn't make that observation, probably. I mean, the last uh, monster of his you fought, it was Nina alone. Final Fantasy X's were a masterpiece, a hidden gem, a diamond in the rough. Uh. <laughs> Ten two had some interesting things, but my god, that story. Ooh. It hurts. It hurts thinking about. Well, I guess that means there won't be anyone coming out for us after all. At least. Still, I don't think the Empire will give up that easily. We better keep our guard up, just in case. Alright, let's get going. Ellen is here somewhere. I intend to find her. We are in Empire territory now. So if they wanted to find us, they're going to have a much easier time than they did before. There's our elevator, but I mean, chests and stuff. Uh oh, what's wrong? Eternal Sword, is Twitch goofing up for you? Leave my flash plugin alone. Yeah, my flash plugin likes to crash every once in a while too. Oh dear, this is a bad situation to be in. All right, hold on. Let's do this properly, shall we? Like that. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and just stick Nina there. Let me double check everyone's agility. Oh wow, Ershin has twenty six agility. Huh. I I thought she had less agility than Cray. Just, just, just. Ammonia! Ah, I really hate allergies. My nose and hearing screw up so bad because of allergies. <laughs> Referring to Ershin as she, huh? I think at some point they specifically refer to her as a she in the beginning. I think, like, the, her boss refers to her as she. I don't think Ershin ever refers to their own gender. So... And I, I believe... Someone uses a female pronoun when referring to Ershin. No, not this one yet. There's another door. Kill, kill, kill. There you go. Good job. Uh, good job, folks. Ooh. Um. This is a problem. Maybe we should take the elevator. Yeah, let's go back upstairs to the elevator. I'm so low on AP on everybody, I have to brute force my way through every fight at the moment. So things are not looking well for our heroes. Well, not looking good for our heroes. The hell, Haven.
No, but seriously, if I'm wrong about someone referring to Ershin as she, then I'm fine with, you know, using the pronoun that makes the most sense. But the character never directly states what pronoun to use, so I don't know what to use. I just use the one that I think has been said in the game. First floor! There we go. I'll do it. I... Yeah, I know, SO. I know. <laughs> I played this- I played 4 all the way through. I, I know exactly what uh, you're referring to. Alright, let's go back up real fast, because we haven't been able to get to this part of the tower due to, you know, missing elevators. Oh, yep, here's the elevator. Oh well. Wait, no, I went the wrong way. No, come on, stupid camera angles. There we go, now we can leave. Did you folks come from the east? That's odd. You were expecting Captain Rasso. You didn't see him, did you? Nope! This is the Imperial Causeway. There's another tower, just like it in Levant's side. No, I want to talk to this cool little floaty snail thing. It's so cute! I like it! Did you do any uh, optional bosses in Wild Arms? In Wild Arms 1? I don't think so. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to come back. He's been sent to Levant to guard the causeway from enemies. I don't think I did any optional bosses in one. It, uh, I may do some in two because two is really interesting me. All right, camp, camp. Oh God, yes, camp. Well, I've done it now. It's supposed to be a truce between the Alliance and the Empire. If anyone finds out we snuck into the Empire, we'll all be in a lot of trouble. Now that we've come this far. There's no way I'm going back without Elena. I've never really been outside the castle before. I never would have imagined I'd be making a trip to Hesperia. I'm playing two now, Esso. People voted for it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Ershin says that she is impressed by that device. To be able to move things across continents in an instant is an impressive feat. Actually, the last vote for what I should play blind was like a three-way tie, and I just rolled the dice. Ended up getting two. So... No, that's fine, Esso. No big deal. I forgot that you weren't around when I... Uh, you haven't been around since I started playing two. That was my fault for making an assumption. I haven't seen people like you around here before. Well, the Empire's a very big place. So, I guess it's not surprising that people like you are living in it, too. Eh, yeah, looking for someone, you say? Well, good luck. There's people coming in and here all the time. Just want to note something. Notice this thing right underneath my compass? The, the thing that looks like a giant barrel pointing out? Yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? Whoa! Cramped? We're a supplier of the Imperial Army. We carry only the best weapons. A cuirass? Crepe cape? It's a glass domino, face guard, or a ring. Life sandals. Talisman! Saves wear from death once and destroyed. Let's get some cuirasses, because those are actually looking like a decent upgrade. I hate the camera and this is so awkward. Yeah, I've complained about the camera already a little bit. Uh, I feel the same way. I'm not part of the army. Can I help you? Getting our vitamins, jabagrass, all this other wonderful stuff we'd seen before. I'm always so bad at using items in Breath of Fire games. 
So as you can tell, this area of the game is definitely Chinese inspired, which is very interesting. I like the way, uh, this game in general has a lot of Chinese mythology and uh, aesthetic to it, honestly, which I think is really neat. What do you think of the big gun? Pretty cool, huh? It's called the Carinade, or the Carinade. It shoots hexes. They used it during the war to blast enemy towns. Boom! That's right, that giant barrel in the middle of town that goes all the way out, that's for shooting hexes. That's what they used on all those towns that we visited. That, get, talk to her. My boyfriend's one of the guard station at Keoan. I hope he gets rotated back here soon. I heard they needed water to cool off the car carinade after it's been fired. That's when the army built the aqueduct and connected it here. Man, Dynasty Warriors binge lately, so I'm all about ancient Chinese culture. Dynasty Warriors, oh god, so much fun. I have so considered streaming the Dynasty Warriors game I have. Uh, I think it's 8? Whatever the one that's released for PC. I've so been tempted to pl uh, play that on stream. Team Falu. Everything he does is justified. <laughs> no spoilers! No spoilers! Every so often, we get a bunch of strange-looking people coming in here. They don't tell us who they are or why they're here. We're just guards, so they never tell us what's going on. What? Looking for someone? Well, I doubt the person you're looking for is in here. This is a military installation with only military people, see? Huh, don't get too many non-military types here. Anyway, if you want to stay, it'll cost you 30 zenny. Played them up to 7, I'm playing 5 right now because it's my favorite. Um, I think 8 is the one that's out on PC, and I've played it, and like, I mean, it's got the same problems as most Dynasty Warriors games, to be honest, but it runs perfectly well on my computer, and, I, and I'm just so glad that I finally have, like, something that can play a Dynasty Warriors game. I guess I could play it on my PS2, but, I mean, they're just not up to par. Have you been the big aqueduct already? That's where Astana gets all its water from. Well, it doesn't seem like we can do anything in this town. All anybody's saying is they don't expect many military, non-military types there. But we can go to the aqueduct. Oh, right, camera angle. Dun dun dun! Let's get ourselves a surprise attack! You have the initiative. Mage Goo and Flu Goo. Murder him. Whoops! I hit it too hard. What I really want to get, if I had the money, because god, I wish I had more money. There are like two things I really want to get right now. Uh, one of them just released. Oh yeah, Blood Bowl 2. Blood Bowl 2 I really, really want to get my hands on. And there's a One Piece Dynasty Warrior style game that's out on the PC now. I'm so happy it is. I'm so happy those games are getting released on PC more often. But I don't have the money for either of the games. I'm so mad. I want to play them so- Oh, there's a chest. Ginseng. I just want Dynasty Warriors games that let you do co-op online or something. That'd be so awesome. I used to do co-op all the time with a friend of mine. He and I were huge Dynasty Warriors fans. So anytime one of us had a Dynasty Warriors game, we'd just play it forever. Oopsies. Talk to me. There's a person here, I know it. Talk to me. You must be the repairman, right? Hold on, I'll power up the gondola. Yes, please do. All right, just a second. Yes, we're we're the repair man, 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 man. Anybody who gets that reference is to a show I actually never liked as a kid. Oh, I'm I'm pretty sure we unlocked everything in one of the in at least one of the Dynasty Warriors game. Me and a friend of mine, we just played it forever. Uh, hold on, I think there's a trick here. Let's change out. Nina for Ershin. I think you can hit this over? No? Um, you can cut it. 
still never played Dynasty Warriors. I could never even watch it. Impossible as it sounds. That is super weird. Well, now you're just convincing me I need to stream Dynasty Warriors one day, Eternal Sword. I haven't tested it. I should. Oh, right. The goo counts. They're, uh, they're pretty beefy. Emulating PS2 into be and better, though, is super hard for, like, everybody. I'm so surprised I can manage it. Looks like Goo Count is counting something. Gasp! I think you can learn Frost. Let me see if I can. Don't kill it? Wow, he deals a lot of damage. Guard, guard, guard. Goo count either gets stronger when there's less of the goos, or gets stronger when there's more goos. I don't remember which one. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta fiddle with the games. Uh, that's one of the things I'm not really looking terribly forward to on some of the games that are on my blind wa uh, playlist, because I don't know if that all of them, all of them, are going to work. <laughs> And the nature of a blind playthrough means I can only do so much testing without ruining a blind playthrough, you know? Alright. A few more levels and I can take Ershin off of the... There we go. I can take Ershin off the leader, off the master, I'm sorry, that she's on. Oopsie. Wait, there's definitely something over here. I'll let her up. Alright, let's take it. An upside daisy. Is there a chest over here that I'm missing? No, there isn't. Oh, uh, yes, there is! Damn it! Hate you, game. <laughs> when it does work, it always screeches at us. That only happened like five times. I forget which game that was, too. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes the emulators just don't like being used and just yell at us. <laughs> 500 zenny. That's worth the trip. That is damn worth the trip. Why do I torture myself by playing these games on an Xbox 360 controller, which notoriously is bad at diagonal movement, in a game that emphasizes diagonal movements? There's water flowing. Do you want to jump in? Sure! Yeah, emulating GameCube is one of those things I'm really sad about, too. I really want some, to play some GameCube games on YouTube, and I just can't. This is it. This is the place they're holding Elena. Yes, it's just like Ryu's dream showed us. Right? Remember this scene, folks? Almost word for word the same thing as the vision. Don't get your hopes up too much. We still need to find her. Let's go. Nothing here. Let me in. They won't let me in. However, you might notice the enemies might be a little different. Actually, I remember fighting the armor in the vision as well, so never mind. Uh, Siva? Fighting armors for a while, actually, now that I think about it. There's one of those enemy types they know you're not really well set up to fight because you don't have as many magic skills.
Nothing here. Anything here. Found a magic shard. Aha! Oh. <laughs> There's nothing there. Uh oh. Remember this scene? Somebody's coming. What then is the status of the sacrifice? It continues to grow, Lord Yuna. Excellent. I am greatly pleased. Blast, they'll see us. If we walk behind the curtain slowly enough, we should be able to get to the other side without being seen. Yes, Lord Luna, at the, Yuna, at the present rate. Whoa. We didn't see that in the vision. Yeah, it looks like they didn't see us. Ah, but we did. Well now, we can't have this, can we? This building belongs to the Fowl Empire. And you are Easterners, are you not? <coughs> Damn it! The mute didn't go off! Sorry! Fuck! I really hate how finicky the mute button is. Ugh. We're looking for someone. Yes, we're looking for my sister. Her name is Elena. We were told she came here. What do you know about her? No, no, no. Don't get too close, hmm? You mean Princess Elena, yes? Yes, she was here. She was a very kind person. She said she was here on a goodwill visit to see people injured during the war. However... She is no longer with us. I'm afraid it's the truth. Now then... I think it's about time you were on your way, my Eastern friends. And so we were captured and sent back to the Alliance. We were chastened by the King of Ludia for acting without permission. And Cray was forced to stand before a tribunal to explain his actions. Chief Cray of the Warrens, they are ready for you now. Chapter 2 the Endless. And yes, you heard right! Cray happens to be a chief. The Chief of the Warrens. I don't know if they've said that at this point. I'm pretty sure they haven't. Are you awake, were you? Kind of depressing mother, isn't it? I wonder if they're still questioning Cray. As long as they're just questioning him and not questioning him. Why don't we go to the castle? If we're lucky, they might let us see Cray. Alrighty, but first, loot the room for Aurum. Whoa. By the way, this is Skius. He's been assigned to watch over us so we don't run off. Not like we'd leave anyway. I would never leave Cray behind. Hi, Skius. I'm k k k k keeping watch. Ershin says sh she is bored. W w w where are you going? I'll g go with you. Getting the right voice for Skius is going to be a little difficult. But yes, Skius is in fact in our party. Let's check him out, shall we? Skius, he's wielding a Jane Doe, scale mail, and a soul gem. Power, defense, pretty much equal. 
agility is fairly high, wisdom is actually pretty high too. So, you know, decent stats all around. Let's see what Skia says equipped, shall we? The Jingdo is a weapon that uses multiple hits, he, and Skius actually shares some equipment with Ryu. So it's pretty interesting. I like it. Skius actually has a lot of weapons that do multiple hits at, uh, in his equipment pool. Scale Mail and Soul Gem. Let's replace that with a Brass Helmet, shall we? And what abilities do you have? Skius starts with Frost, Sleep, Shining Blade, Critical Hit, Always hits. Yeah, that's as scary as it sounds. Heal, purify, confuse. Basically, Skius is about as all-around character as you can get, and I really like him. One of my favorite characters by far. In this room, we're holding a group of people who were part of an incident which is currently under investigate. Hey, what are you doing out here? Uh, nothing! Castle Ludia lies this way. We'll go there in a sec. I came here from the south, and while I was passing through the woods, someone, something poked me in the eye. I tell you, that forest is haunted. I just know there's something in that forest. I mean, you'll hear voices when there's no one around. Sometimes you can feel something pulling your hair. Some people say they've even been bit by invisible animals. I was traveling through the forest when suddenly something pinched my... Well, you know where. Sounds like someone's pulling a bunch of pranks. Here, we use metal prospecting from the dam to make machine parts. You there! You, sir! Talk to me. It is unacceptable. These factory towns, they do not have any inns. But in or no, I am still open for business. A Katzblager! Used by professional soldiers. Pretty big increase in attack, but it means uh, someone's going to lose their second attack. And it's also going to take all of my money. Uh, used by guards and police, the Reed Baton. There's a Kiros again, Crip Cape, Face Guard, so basically everything we've seen before. Let's go ahead and get the Katzblog Bonga. And we'll go ahead and equip that onto Rio. We'll keep the scar Skarmus Axe, because if we need to do combos that involve you hitting multiple times with a weapon, we're gonna want to keep one. We're gonna want to keep a weapon. Back when we were at war, things were really busy here, with what, everything, everyone making machines, selling parts and all. Alright, well let's go to the castle then. That's not the castle. Alright. This is Castle Ludia. You're a Castle Ludia. Your face is a Castle Ludia. The prisoner is currently under investigation. No visitors are allowed. I'm afraid that's the way it has to be, Princess Nina. You're an odd looking fellow. Master Cray is the leader of the War Nation. Unlike you, he must be kept under strict guard. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. Skis, keep your eye on them. <laughs> Lay it down the sick burns. It may take several days to finish the inquiry into Chief Cray's actions. You should wait in your room in the city. I guess we'll go wait in the room in the, in the city. Or... It's no use. There's nothing we can do. Poor Cray, this is all my fault. We can't just sit here and do nothing. I know. Let's go to Warren. That's where Cray... Uh, Warren. That's where Cray is from. They have a guard to watch us. Still, they never said we couldn't go anywhere, right? Let's go. Warren's to the south of here, past the forest. Oh dear. In case you didn't notice, there's a lot of things that opened up to us just now. 
including Shide, Question Mark, and the Witchwood. So let's go to pretty much everywhere except the Witchwood for now, because south is towards where we want to go. So back to Shide. I knew this was the place to sell. So many people coming and going all day long. How about you? Are you looking for something? Cash and stamp card. Trade items. Ooh. We can trade in fish here! A Farangi. A curved sword of southern origin. One hit. Extra. Ooh. Plus five user's defense using a broadsword. These are all amazing things. So if we got a bunch of sweet fish, we could get earth claws. Got a bunch of trout, we could get ruby scepter. Got a bunch of these and a rainbow trout. Ugh, I want so many things. The flail, which yes, is a weapon for Nina, has one extra hit on it, in case he wanted it. Holy mantle lowers the chance of uh, encountering wandering monsters, which is pretty neat. Raises chance of encountering wandering monsters. Aurum, as pretty much exactly what you would think it is. So yeah, we might want to get our hands on some fish soon. So I'm going to write some of these down, like how much fish we need of each. So, black bass, times three, Martian squid, times three, and regular bass, times six, and that's all for the sword. Uh, everything else might be a little bit pointless because it's not very good. Ah, it's, just, it is not enough points for you to be getting a stamp. I, I don't think I've ever completed a stamp card. Oh, and if you had a stamp card, I think you'd get any of these. Coupons. Give any, gives wearer discount in any shop. Dragon Tear completely protects wearer against status changes. Linked Pole change damage damage changes with the enemy's power and render. Has the same effect as Frost. Gives plus one hit, sends a 50 power with one extra attack. And permanent stat increase items. In case you wanted them. So yeah, these trading is can get you pretty damn powerful. How do I fit people in a such small inn? Pay me 100 Zenny and you'll find out. I like you. Have you ever been jealous of, so of something someone else has? You know, thought it was better than yours? Never! This is Shide, since we're right at the edge of the desert. Some people call this the Desert City. The desert stretches out all ways in all directions. If you're gonna be going through it, you'd better make sure you've got enough supplies. Oh, well, that was a woman, wasn't it? How silly of me. Alright, well, we've got enough of those. We don't need them. You never know when you might run into bandits in the desert. A smart man carries something to protect himself. What about you? Fortunately, we did just buy a weapon that took all of our equipment, so... Yeah, not so much. Ain't no way to cross the desert, not without a sand flyer. Or is there? There isn't. At least not for us. Alright, we can go ahead and move out. However, I think there might be something in one of the question mark spaces along the way. So we're gonna check for some. You might notice that, like, we've only seen one fish place in this entire game so far. Guard, guard, guard! I wanna learn your abilities! That's not what I wanna learn. Double blow. If you saw it was in blue, Nina learned it. Damn it! <laughs> That's not who I wanted to learn double blow. Hey. Alright, Skius. Talk twice! <laughs> That's why I like Skius. <laughs> He's got such great animations for everything he does. I it's just so great. Um, 
I believe double blow... I don't know if I can use arms right now, can I? Nope, I have to do it. Uh, skill scroll. Can be used in camp, right. We're gonna have to camp at some point. Also, my battle formation... ...needs to be more like this. Okay, Nut Trooper and Goo Count. Let's go ahead and Siva you, attack you, and attack you. I think you can also learn something from the Nut Archer. Uh oh. That's not it. Oh well, Skia's missed. Siva? Frost? And burn. Looks like Goo Count is counting something. Yeah. You're not the only one who can do that. There you go. That didn't do anything, did it? Speed doesn't matter if I use magic. Alright, now let's see. Guard, guard, guard. You know, you're just gonna spam that, aren't you? And then you attack. You don't have a special ability? Who sworn you had a special ability I could learn? Guess not. Make with the murder. hit up a camp so we can move that double strike ability to someone more useful? Oh! That did make a place to visit. Interesting. Could have sworn it only did that if that area had something special there. Oh, this area definitely does. This is a different looking area than normal. I hear flowing water. We have the initiative! Attack! It's really hard to hit these guys with physical attacks. That's why it's really nifty to have multiple attacks. Siva. Or do you just use magic? We got berries! Very antidote. Uh, okay. So this does specifically have somewhere we can go. Otherwise it wouldn't show up on the map. Alright, let's hit camp. And use our first Aurum of the game. Skills. Switch individual skills. Double blow. Make two attacks in a row. Alright. Probably... Actually, all these skills except for Feign Swing is useful. Take Feign Swing off. But I might as well give this to someone else while I'm at it. No. Oh. Display a list of skills learned. So here's all the skills in the game. You might notice in the scroll bar uh, to the right of my pointer, or where I'm highlighting things, there's little green dots. That's where you have skills learned. Everything else is just a skill that's does, uh, that's just on here somewhere. So yeah, there's a lot of skills that you can learn from enemies, in case you didn't tell. And uh, the ones in blue are ones that are actually in stock and not on characters. Or wait, no. No, no, the ones in blue are ones on characters. Never mind, it's the other way around. 
And yes, that is a 45 AP move you've seen there. <laughs> a lot of physical moves. There's Burn and Eddie. So yeah, let's give Eddie to you. And notice how it doesn't cost any Aurum to take them from this, from this list. But you can only have that one of these skills on someone at a time. I believe you do not... You can... You need this. You need that. I believe... Skias doesn't learn it on her on his own. All right, that's good. Yes. All right, rest and save. All right, I'm gonna explore this question mark spot now. Because usually something like this doesn't show up on the map unless it has a specific reason to. There's a sign, obviously, I'm gonna read. But I'm gonna have to deal with you first. Alright, so I wanna show something off with double blow. It's when you have a, a weapon equipped that deals two attacks at a time. Yep, it makes it a triple blow instead of a double blow. It adds one more attack to it. Yes, they're really weakened. But you need that for, uh, you need to take advantage of that for later in the game when you need higher level combos. So that's why I give it to Skius. Looking for the best fishing spot? Go to the beach west of here. That would be this way. Ta da! Fishing spot. I knew there's one around here somewhere. Try fishing near rocky areas. Oops, come on. Work with me here. Target fish. Ocean spot one. Don't know. Question mark? All right. Come to me, fishy! Come to me! You will be mine! Don't, no, no, stop going the other direction! Come back to me! You are getting very sleepy! Very sleepy! Not to be that guy, but there's a thing he didn't do? What didn't I do? Getting away from me! Come on, get back here. All I'm doing is holding the X button down at this point. It's just fighting me that much. I hate fishing. And I can't use the uh, speed up function, the speed hack, because that'd be a terrible idea while fishing. It'll break your line so fast, there's no way you can react fast enough. Come on! This is getting silly. Are you finally done? Oh! Right! I know what you mean! Yeah, I'll, I'll do that after this. After I catch this fish, I promise. <laughs> oh, son of a... Bitch! This fish is a headache! Come to me! And if I span down arrow, it'll help. Come to me! This is literally the worst! 
You better be the best damn fish I've ever caught in my life. Oh, come on. Now I can't even see where you're at. There you are. Come to me! Finally! It's a blowfish. It's not even one of the things I meant to catch. Fucking fine. Get up, stretch, whatever you need to do to be able to keep watching comfortably. And I will be right back. <laughs>